Let's look at Union. With Union, you can merge multiple remotes into one remote. They can be any remote, local, network, or cloud storage. Let's start with a simple example. Right now, if I do our clone list remotes, I have two remotes, B2 for Backblaze and S3 for Amazon S3. If I do LSD on B2, we see the buckets that I have here. And if I do on S3, we see my S3 buckets. Let's go ahead and do union. We'll do our clone config and set up our union and give it a name. I'll just call it clouds. And in this list, you want to look for union. You can type union, enter or option 44. Next, we need to tell our clone what remotes we want to merge. I'll type S3. You can also specify a subdirectory, which I'll show in a minute, in B2. Next, we need to set the policy. I'll just stick with the defaults and set the cache time, which I'll also set for the default. Now, if I do list remotes, we get our union called clouds. If I do our clone LSD on clouds. Now I have all of my remotes in one. So you can see our Amazon, our B2 are all in one remote. Now I can do something like copy or sync files to one of these buckets. I'll start with this example.txt. I'm going to do our clone copy this example txt into clouds dre net backup now if i do an ls on clouds dre net backup we get this example.txt file we can then do stuff like mount on that cloud And now I have access to all my remotes, my S3 and Backblaze in one folder. Let's go ahead and modify my cloud's remote so that we only have DreNet backup contents in our union. And what we'll do is our clone config and we'll just edit the clouds remote and this time I'm going to set the S3 upstream to S3 tray that backup and then keep B2 the same. If I do LSD on clouds now we get only the B2 buckets. We also have the contents of tray net backup from S3. If I do our clone mount again on clouds and we open it up, we see we have example.txt that was inside of DreNet Backup on Amazon S3. I've gone ahead and removed the subdirectory from S3 remote. I'd like to show you how to set up a union so that your remotes are either in read-only mode or no create mode. Read-only mode makes it so that you can only read files, but you can't create or modify them. No create allows you to modify files, but you can't create them. Let's go ahead and modify this. We'll do our clone config we'll modify clouds and this time for the remote we'll do s3 and append the read only with colon ro at the root of s3 so nothing in s3 will be modifiable for b2 we'll do the same thing but this time we're going to be using no create keep the defaults if i try to copy this new example 2.txt file our clone copy to one of the S3 buckets, which is read only. We'll copy example to txt to clouds. Tray backup. We'll get an error because we 
don't have permission to write. Let's do our clone mount to get a better indicator of this. And we go into net backup and we try to create like a new file or folder. We're going to get errors because we don't have permission, but we can't read from this file. And Dre Rustic, which is a B2 bucket, I can modify this to say, hello world. Remember my B2 is no create, so we can modify this file, but we won't be able to create new files. Now notice it created it here on a local disk, but it wasn't actually made on the bucket. If I go into S3 browser here and show you, if I refresh, notice that we just have notes, even though we created this text document, it's not actually here. Let's go ahead and detach our cloud and let's run it again so I can show you. So if we go back into this and go into Rustic, we see that file hasn't been created. So read only lets you only read files, no create lets you modify and edit files, but you can't create new files or folders.